We just made this privacy wall or backdrop for a craft fair or a farmer's market, some place to hang your signs. We used some pickets and some two by threes and we'll show you how we did it right now. What is up? A welcome back. Do you like to do a builder to make it? So do we. And we have a new video each week. This week, it's the final countdown. <laughs> it is, yes. Yes, I think I finally got Garrett there. He's, he's clicked into gear. I mean, I'm pretty much, pretty much clicked into gear. Five weeks, 18 projects, 75 items, and booth setup to boot. It's uh, gonna be tight. It's gonna be tight. It is a uh, whole month of getting ready for the market. Yes, April is market month. Market month, that's what it's that's been. That's it, I have one month. I've been trying since February to really get this show started, cool. and Garrett had to redo the garage, but now we're here. Garage is ready, we've got a workspace, and we're ready to get going. That, and it had to feel like spring. I, it was hard getting ready for a spring, summer farmer's market when it was cold out. I just didn't feel it. I didn't feel it. <laughs> so this week we're starting with three panels that we're gonna use as part of our farmer's market background, or our tent display, what is it called? Booth display? Yes, part of our display set up for our booth. We are going to make these panels. This is what I'm envisioning. I haven't made them yet, but I know what I'm looking for. I want a place to display our door rounds. Uh, last year, they pretty much just hung from the side of the tent, which was fine. I mean, you could really see them coming, but I think we could make the aesthetic a little bit better. Kind of like wooden wind chimes, too. They were like little wooden wind. They kind of did sway in the wind and the breeze there. But this, this year, I want to create uh, some display panels. So these kind look of- a little more professional. So yes, yeah. It doesn't look so hanging from a tent we got at Dick's. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Step one, we're gonna gather all of our supplies. We really just needed like four of those six foot dog-eared fence pickets. Dog-eared. Two two by threes. We want two by threes. Cost and weight. Some three inch screws and some one and five eighth inch screws and some glue, stain and paint. Yes. Know. So let me give you a little lowdown on these fence pickets. You wouldn't believe how long we sat there. 90 minutes. Debating. <laughs> Probably not that long, but we came in to lumber, saw these pickets, decided I'm not sure these are the ones we want. We went all the way out to the garden center. We debated and looked at all the pickets. We came back into the lumber pickets. We didn't like those still. We went over to another section within lumber and saw some other pickets. It was a whole process. So let me tell you what we've chosen. Scanning, matching SKUs, we comparing <laughs> SKUs, because looking at <laughs> other stores. That might have been me, but some of them didn't seem, uh, some of them seemed thicker than the others, so it was a thing. But anyway, let me tell you what the deal is. Normally, we get the premium dog-eared fence pickets when we're making our front porch welcome signs because they're nice and smooth. I don't really do any sanding. They are pressure treated. I can just stain and paint them. These are not those. So those are 350 each right now. They were like 270, but they've really gone up in price. So, um, but still affordable to do a front porch welcome sign. But when you're doing what we're doing for these um, display panels, they don't need to be that high end. They don't need to be super smooth. I don't want to take away from the sign themselves. That's I don't said. want the display to be so beautiful it's not going to. But they don't, Matt, they don't notice the sign. So we're going to use these just standard dog-eared fence pickets. Just these right now are $1.98, so they were like $2 each. Um, but I am going to stain and paint these, so I think I might hit them with a sander um, just to knock some of this roughness off because I think they're going to be difficult to paint and stain. It's just going to catch the rag when I try and stain it. Oh, that's true. Yeah, I didn't think about that. So anyway, because we're going to cut these up and they're just going to be displays, I think that these little, the rough version here will work. So that's the difference between two two dollars and three fifty, and which ones we use for which. Well, do you want to run a sander down them before we start? Um, yeah, probably we should do that. Or do you want to do it after we chop them all up? I think it'll be easier to do them as a whole board. I agree. Step two, we're gonna make all of our cuts. 
we're really just going to cut these planks down to 24 inches and these 2x3s we're just cutting down to 6 foot and then we should have about 2 feet left over maybe we have to use it as the frame or a foot not sure yet <laughs> but what I am sure about is that we're going to be using the uh, pocket saw to make all of our cuts <laughs> every bit of sawdust in the bag just came pouring out the front that way it makes it look like we've been working <laughs> Three. Now we're gonna stain. We're using some briar smoke. We're gonna lay down a base stain. And then we're gonna come back in and paint. Yeah, we're gonna give it that distressed painting technique. We yeah. Right now we're just giving that that underlaying color something that's not raw wood. Yes, and I'm trying to go with this briar smoke because I think the rounds are gonna be more of a a darker color stain like what is it dark walnut um, and this will be a lighter color stain to give it some contrast time to paint you know like that is not a paintbrush oh I know we're gonna scrape the paint across just give it like a, a kiss of the paint with a scraper yeah we tried this technique a couple of projects ago and I really like the way it looked and I think it's perfect for this backdrop behind us because it's really a it's rustic paint, look it's a paint saver so you're really just gonna pour a little bit on your board and then run your what is this scraper tool down it yeah. So here's your technique. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Step four. Now we're gonna pin it all together. We're just making a, like a ladder on both sides. Some rungs will be missing. And we're gonna pin it all together with some one and five eighths inch screws. I think we're gonna put some pilot holes in there though to uh, make sure we don't split the boards. And then we're just doing two screws per side per board. That's uh, a lot of holes, a lot of screws. We're going to alternate the slats. One's going to be on the front, and then one's going to be on the back, and then front, back, front, back. Front, back, front, back. And because we want to make it look distressed, sometimes one board will be missing. Like it belonged there. It just was taken down and used somewhere else in some other project. Except we decided on no missing boards. <laughs> <laughs> new news. Yes. New news. Yes. So I want to have greenery peeking out so it look like there's little planters halfway down. Oh, okay. So we were going to take a board out so I could have greenery there. Yeah. But since I want it to be displayed on both sides, what I think I'm going to do is one on the back. Are you with me? I'm here. <laughs> on the front. One on the back, one on the front. And then the one that's in the back, I'm just going to staple some greenery to. I'm not, I'm not using real flowers because... That's I expensive. can't keep them alive, yeah. <laughs> so I'm gonna put some plastic, plastic. It's just greenery. I'm yeah, not just doing flowers. Like fake greenery. Yeah. Fake stuff. Yeah. We're using the fake stuff. Yes. So it will just alternate okay. front to back, front to back. All right. All right. I get it. Now. I get it now. <laughs> Thank you.
Step five, and now we add the accents. Uh, we're really just adding some flowers, some greenery, something to give it a little pizzazz, something to brighten up the dark, empty spaces on either side. Well, they're not dark, <laughs> and they don't really need anything, but I thought this would be a nice, um, it just gives it some interest and it, it'll be okay if we cover it up with a door round for display but if it's not covered up then it's got some interest and um you know yeah. some flair a little something i did do a little research on some greenery i went to hobby lobby yesterday to get what i knew i wanted well and i went first yeah <laughs> i wasn't gonna go into all that yes garrett i sent garrett first during the day while i was working and he brings back a bag full of greenery it was seven variations of ivy because he felt like that was the most affordable thing that he could find and and it was, and, and, it was and maybe it would have worked but it wasn't exactly what i wanted so i was i went marching back up there after dinner and i was like nope that's not what i want we're gonna pick uh, i got i already know what i want but they were eight dollars each and i was gonna need at least four or five um per rung and I wanted to do three per board, and I was looking at like $150 to add the greenery, so that was not gonna fly. So I returned everything that Garrett purchased, and then I didn't purchase anything. And then I said, we're going to the dollar store. So I had one of the youngest with me, and I said, we're going to the dollar store. We're gonna go see what they have. So they had these hydrangeas. It's not the most, the best quality silk flowers out there, but I think that we can add a few of them here and they'll give us the interest and you know we lose flowers over time we can easily well, like, refill. <laughs> flowers happen <laughs> we're just going to staple them in like in a couple of the gaps What's it look like? <laughs> <clears throat> All right, yes, that looks good. Yeah. Some bottom ones. Yeah, you can. All right. All right. <clears throat> Step six, and now we make a defeat. We're going to give it some feet so that we can stand it up, but we're going to make the feet removable. Right. we got to keep this thing portable. All right. It's got to be able to fit in and out of a car. So we're just going to use, we had another picket that we finished stained the same way. And so we've cut that into thirds, just like we did the rest of them. Mm -hmm. They're still 24 inches. They're going to be the feet. We're going to take this one and chop it up so it's five and a half inches wide. We're gonna get four of these out of this one, I hope. We'll see. And then we're gonna use part of the two by three that's the back brace. We're gonna cut this to use it as a 45 degree brace. So yeah. again, it's all part of what we've already seen and used it for the rest of the project. Just using our leftovers, making the most. Oh, look, look who's making a second appearance tonight. <laughs> second cameo of the night. That's gonna cost us. So I got my little seven inch brace. It's seven from tip to tip. And I'm gonna put it on this piece here. Bam, like that. But now I have to do a bunch of pilot holes. I got it. We're gonna pin it together with Brad. Oh geez. He is 
start pit crewing it. All right, load them up and I'll hit them. Okay, so we're just marking the center of the board and then the width of one picket plus the two by three is about a two, two about and a sixteenth. Two and an eighth. Two and an eighth. So two we're going to mark the center and then mark an inch on each side. A half inch on each side, right? No, it'd be one inch on each side. One and a sixteenth. And a sixteenth, yeah. So you only want to leave enough, leave enough space to put the panel right down in there between the feet. So it'll hold them and they'll stand up. All right. You want to line this up back here and I'll pin it. Yes. So it's temporary held, and now he's going to screw it in. Foot one done. So, are you going to glue the picket? I mean, are you going to screw the picket down so that it doesn't? Oh, I no. guess it's screwed yeah, to this piece here. Ends. Okay, so we just screwed the bottom to the brace. All right, same thing, this is the bottom. Foot two done. Two feet. There we go. All right, I say we take them outside and see if it works. Let's do it. You want to take the feet? I'll take this big thing. Okay. What do you think? <laughs> a couple of pickets, some two by threes. Got ourselves a privacy wall. You couldn't even see me. <laughs> or a backdrop for the farmer's market. Right, isn't this great? This is gonna be the perfect display and we're using these little shower hooks so that we can move them around. We can adjust them. They don't have to be in one place. I can just take them off and hang them anywhere. And then when we're all out of signs, the flowers make it look like it's not so blank. It was supposed to be that way. Look at that. Looking good. Big shout out to the patrons. We love you guys. I think we're about out of time. So if you're not joining us for the patron after show, we will see you next week where we'll do it, build it, make it again. These things are way too heavy to balance. Yeah. They will balance. Some hello peeps with the wind. Oh. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
Thank you.